Hey team, welcome to this 30 day video challenge where I'm gonna release 30 games in 30 days. These games are games that you can play with your team at any time. Some of them include skills, some of them include conditioning, and honestly, some of them are just tag games that you can play with your team. So make sure you tune in every single day this month where I'm gonna release a new video with a brand new game. And before we get started, I'm Coach Hart, this is Building Better Baseball, and this is the best place for baseball education. So let's get into this 30-day video challenge. I'm super excited to bring you these games. Let's get started. Hey team, welcome to day six of this 30-day challenge. And day six's game is just a regular tag game. It doesn't involve any equipment. It's just a really fun game that you can play as like a little break or maybe some conditioning at the end where the kids can run around. Um, there's not really anything to show on this screen, which is why I'm a little bigger. I actually need to show you how the kids are gonna be in the game. So bridge tag, for ages, I would go with the younger ages. Um, with the older ages, maybe like 10, 11 and above, they might think this is a little juvenile, a little young for them, but the four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old, seven, eight, that age group right there, that is a sweet spot. And the kids have so much fun with this game. Um, and this is how it works. So there's no equipment needed. You are going to play in the field. So whenever I play a regular tag game with no equipment and the kids are literally just playing tag, I usually just keep it to the infield. If you have a small number of kids, then you can keep it to the actual in grass infield in between the bases. Uh, if you have a larger team, you can extend it to like the area right before the outfield, like all the dirt area and everything. I always think that if you open it to the whole field, the kids, there's just no containing and the kids can just run anywhere and it gets exhausting and the kids get really super tired without having fun in the game. So I would just keep it contained and in the infield area, you decide how big you want to make that area, but you're just going to play on the infield. And bridge tag works like this. So you're going to have one or two taggers, depending on the size of your team. I would say one tagger per like 10 kids. So if you have like a team of like 10, I would do one tagger. If you have a team of closer to like 17 or 20, then I would do two taggers, all right? So the taggers are gonna run around and obviously they're just gonna tag people, right? When the kids get tagged, they have to make half of a bridge. So they just go up and they make half of a bridge like this. And they just put their arms out and they spread out their feet and they just go like this. They're standing there like this, frozen, right? A separate person who has not been tagged, when they see those people go like this, they have to go free them. So they have to go up to the person who's like this and they complete the bridge. They mimic or mirror what that person is doing. So if I'm on this side doing the bridge like this, I, as another person who has not been tagged, goes up to that person and I complete the bridge. So now you have two kids making a bridge like this going across here like this. Two people on two sides and the bridge is going across, all right? Now they are not unfrozen yet. In order to get unfrozen, a third person, a third untagged person needs to run underneath of the bridge. And once they run underneath of the bridge, everybody is free and then they can keep on playing the game. So it's super simple. It's just a simple tag game that you can use for conditioning for the younger kids. Um, that's much better than like base running or if you always do base running or always do like some sort of game at the end. This is a really fun thing that the kids can do. It's called bridge tag. And remember, there's two levels to get unfrozen. If you get frozen, you make half of a bridge. A person who's untagged comes and completes the bridge. So you have two people like this. A third person has to run underneath of the bridge and then everybody is free after that. So there's not really that much to it. This is a shorter video. This is just bridge tag. And hopefully you can incorporate it into your practice plans and maybe take a little break, like a five minute break. Hey, let's play some bridge tag, you know? Um, it's just a fun way to spice up your practice plans and just to really get the kids engaged and have some fun on the field. So I hope you enjoyed. Tune in tomorrow for day seven. Thanks for joining in. I'll see you tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed today's game and I hope I explained it in a way that you understand and that you can explain it to your team so you can incorporate it into your practices. This is just another game that you can add to your practice plans to have some fun during your practices with your youth baseball team. Before you go, don't forget to grab your free two hour practice plan. I made it just for you to help you out in your practice plans. And in the description below, you'll also see a free baseball equipment sizing guide. There's how to get more playing time. There's how to do batting practice. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I made for you for free. Be sure to grab it before you go it's all down in the description. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, this is Building Better Baseball. I'm Coach Hart, and I'll see you next time.